children. It is just so wonderful to be with you on this Good Friday. And thank you for all of those who have posted your pictures and your activities for us to see. It's lovely to, to be in touch with you that way. So keep doing that with the activities that we'll be posting today. So today is Good Friday, isn't it? And it's a little difficult for us to understand exactly why it would be good, because it's the day Jesus died, isn't it? And it's a little confusing for us to think about why would that be a good thing? And that's what I want to speak to you a little bit today about. And it's, it's very much with what Pastor Gareth was sharing with us in the message today. So I'm going to be doing another little experiment to help us to understand what Jesus did for us and why today his death is a good thing. So the first thing I want you to think about is when God created the world. When God created the world, he created it clean and perfect, and it was white with no sin. But what happened? Well, sin entered the world, didn't it? And yeah, we're going to pour some sin into our world. And sin made everything that God created dirty and not perfect and not holy anymore. And this is the world that we live in, isn't it? This is us. This little coin is going to represent us. And we are in this sin-cursed world, aren't we? We are part of this world. And the sin that is around us and the sin that is within us is ever before us. What is sin? Well, sin is the lies we tell. Sin is the disobedience that we show towards our parents or the selfishness that we show towards our siblings. Maybe it's the thing you stole from someone or anything we do to break God's command. Anything we do outside of faith is sin. And that is the sin that is overwhelming us. It is around us and we cannot get away from it. But that is why Jesus came into the world. And it says in Matthew that Jesus came to save his people from their sins. So Jesus tells us in Matthew chapter 8, um, not in Matthew chapter 8, in John chapter 8 verses 12, that he is the light of the world. And he came into the sinful world to do what? As we said, to save his people from their sins. But how did he do that? He did that by living a perfect life, and then he did that by dying on the cross. And so I'm going to take this glass and I'm going to cover the candle just like the life was taken from, well, just like Jesus gave his life, this glass is going to represent. But I want you to watch what happens to the sin. What happens to the sin around us? Well, as Jesus gave his life, as he died, Something amazing happened. Can you see what's happening? What's happening, guys? Jesus is absorbing. He's taking our sin away. He took his sin upon himself so that we did not have to pay and suffer for the sins that we have done. Pastor Gareth spoke about many verses that spoke about how Jesus took our sin away. He gave us a way to be reconciled to the Father. He gave us a way to be freed from the sin that we have committed. We have a way to be forgiven because of what Jesus did on the cross for us. And that is why Good Friday is a good day. Because he gave us a way to be forgiven of our sins. He took the punishment for our sins upon himself on the cross so that we did not have to bear that punishment from God. What an amazing God we serve. Let's rejoice and thank Jesus for what he did on the cross for us, that he was willing to take our sins, so that we did not have to be punished for them. I'm going to be sending out some activities for you, so that you can think more about um, how Jesus loves us, and how he gave himself for us for the give, forgiveness of our sins. And I want you to be thinking, it says in 1 John 1 verse 9, that if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us, to make us clean from all the sins that we have committed. Have you confessed your sins to Jesus? And have you thanked him for
for what he has done on the cross for us by taking away our sin, by giving his life. But let's remember, Sunday's coming, and he rose again to show that he has perfect victory over sin and death. Let us rejoice as we think of this Easter weekend and what Jesus has done for us. Blessings, New Life children, New Life Church children. We are so thankful that we had to get to have this time with you. And I pray this message would encourage your heart to think more about what Jesus has done for us on the cross of Calvary. Lots of love. Blessed Easter, everybody. Kisses. Jesus loves me.